All right, do me a favor. Raise your hand if you do not have um, a worksheet. Good. Raise your hand if your table does not have a pack of M&Ms and a pack or a Hershey bar. Star, do you, would you rather not have a broken one? Okay, good. So everybody has exactly what they need. What do you notice um, on the Hershey bars? Dollar signs. Okay, dollar signs. They're both brown. Yep. Corey? An amount. An amount. So, sorry, I can't pull it off. You're going to have to deal with that. They both say so, milk coffee. I went and I bought these for us last night, and I paid $2 for a Hershey bar, Corey, and I paid $3 for a bag of M&Ms. That's exactly what it says at the top of your uh, little thing, okay? But how many items did I buy all together? Six. I bought six items all together. Well, you bought two items. Oh. No, actually, read the top. It says, I only bought six items. And I don't, don't, and I'm not going to tell you how many of each I bought. So I'm not going to tell you how many bags of M&Ms I bought, and I'm not going to tell you how many Hershey bars I bought. How much did I spend? Sixteen dollars. How many items did I buy? Six. Six. Okay. What I want you to do in your group is let's take about like three to four minutes, and I want you guys to use the table. So part one, see if you can figure out how many of each item I bought. Okay? You ready? Go. So you're going to fill out the table. I'm going to quickly take attendance. Well, show me on the table. Yep, you're right. Four bags of M&M's, two bags of M&M's, two bags of M&M's. Good. Give me one second, okay? bag, like, for M&M's? Zero bags cost zero dollars, and one bag costs three. Oh, corn. Good job. They wouldn't be exponents. Yeah, it's three dollars per bag. Bridget, you guys say you had it? Yeah. Guess you're supposed to be working together to figure it out. All right, where's your table? You don't have your table. Okay, well, sh how, how did you figure it out? Because 4 times 3, four three is, 12, is 12, and then 2 times 2 is 4, four plus 4 is 16. All right, but can you show me, though, like, where that would work, how, where you would see it on the table? Show me. Just show me. Yeah, I'm going to first. Right here. Coming right here. together. I want to see that in just a second. That is beautiful. Oh, but is that what I first? But is that what I asked you guys to do? No, but I just wanted to show you that I know what I'm doing. You do not, I know you know what you're doing, but what I want you to do, okay, so let's look at this. All right, so if I bought zero bags of M&Ms, and I had to have six so items zero. total, no, how many Hershey bars would I have had to have bought? Six. Six. Mm -mm, because six. how many items you bought did I buy total? Six. Six, yeah. So what would go here? If I bought zero, zero bags of M&Ms, how many, how many Hershey zero. bars would I have had to buy? Zero. Why zero? One. Two. No, why one? Three. Why oh, six? You know, why six? Because you bought zero bags of M&Ms. Right, so put, oh. so write a six there. Does that make sense? It took me a while to get used to that as well. I get it. Right? So if I didn't buy any bags of M&Ms, but I only bought six Hershey bars, how much did I spend total? Three. Six. $15? No, 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 because it's two, four, six, two, I know, four, I know $12. Dollars. Because it'd be six, five, four, three, two. All right, well, you guys, I'll tell the rest of your group figure it out. Slow. All right, so you circle four, two, and 16. You guys all agree? Yeah, you can get the work. I'm going to get the work. You're just going to wait for in a memento. Good. I guess while we're waiting, we can get candy. 
All right, well, how many, you said you guys have zero and zero, but I said that I bought how many t items total? Six, right? So you have to buy six Hershey bars. So I would have had to have bought six. If I didn't buy any M&Ms, I would have had to bought how many Hershey bars? Um, six. And then how much would I have spent if each Hershey bar cost twelve dollars? You're right. So that wouldn't be right because it's not sixteen. Good. So, so right, twelve there. Yeah, because you see the top. It says total cost. All right. Yes, sir. Right, but I'm not talking about the ones in the groups I'm talking about in the original problem. Yeah. Wouldn't it be? So then, so look at Austin. So wait, look at Austin's paper, though. Austin, can you tell the rest of the group about that, though? We're trying to find out which of these number of m and bags would, and number of Hershey bars would equal $16. Right, but also not only equaling $16, but also equaling how many items? Six items. Six items. So every row has to equal how many items? Six. Six items. And $16. And sixteen dollars, but every row is not going to equal sixteen dollars, right? Because if I bought one bag of M and M's, how much would that have cost, right? And if I would bought five bags, uh, or excuse me, five per sheet, and then three plus ten is, so would that have worked? No. So I want you to figure out at what point it would have worked. Okay. Yes. Can you come back? Come back? Yeah. Can you ask them first? No. Like, like we are, yeah. Right, I know you already have the answer, but can you show me on the chart is what I'm... Well, we have another chart. Where'd it go? We have to find out. Alex. Yeah. Oh, we haven't gotten there yet, so we're only on part one. So Alex, you want to put your uh, group stuff up there? Yeah, it's a great. So we're almost all there. We're just waiting. Uh, you don't want to do it? Wait, what do you mean? So the table, if you would put the table up there? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'll wait till you Okay, so Alex, as you're writing it up there, do you mind explaining to the class? I mean, I think everybody got it. Everybody's there. So why, okay, keep going. All right, and then tell me why you did that. All right, does everybody agree with that? Yeah. I think it took a lot of groups a long time to see. So earlier, that group especially, you had zero and zero. But why didn't that work? Because it had to equal $16. Not $16. No, no, it had to, six, you have to have six items. Six items, good. All right, so, and then I asked you guys to circle the row that has a total cost that Miss Red spent. So which one is it? I know. Everybody. Four. Six and zero. Yeah, and not four and zero. It's I said four six and, and zero. Two. Four and two, because that's what equals it. Equals the sixteen dollars that I spent. I thought it said no, but it says the total circle of row that has the total cost. Yeah. yeah, and what was the total cost that I spent? Oh, God. oh because you Sorry. because I spent what? I'm so slow. <laughs> Corey, no, you're not because I spent what? Sixteen dollars. Sixteen dollars. So then the other two questions, the other two questions, three and four, said how many bags of M and M's did I purchase? Four. Five. Four. Very good. How many bags of Hershey bars did I purchase? Two. Okay, so this group back over here, you guys were dead set against using the table. You just used your mathematical genius minds to figure it out, right? How much did multiply And you just sort of did trial and error, right? Until you figured it out, which is, isn't that what this kind of is? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what we're gonna do today is we are going to take, now that we already know the answer, and so I'm not necessarily looking for the answer, it's the process to get there. This group over here came up with an equation already, but I'm gonna come back to you in a second. But what we're gonna do today is we are going to see if we can write equations that model real world situations, such as this, 
But guess what, guys? Guess how many equations are going to be in there? A lot. Four. Six of one. Well, let's just say two. two, okay? Now on Monday, or no, just the other day when we started talking about Redbox, uh, where were the other ones again? I forget. Netflix. Yeah, how many did we write? Three. Three. And we were able to graph them and come up with the equation. And then I gave you that homework problem, and you guys hated the graph. Why did you hate the graph? It was hard, Kane. Let me hear you. It was a lot of work. Thank you. It was a lot of work, right? But today we're going to learn how to do it algebraically. And some of you may find this way to be more efficient than using the graphs. Okay? So what we're going to do is the first bit we're going to work is to figure it out, to, to figure out how we write the equation, we're going to define our variables. So what are the two different things that I'm dealing with here? M&M's and Hershey bars. Zach, you keep messing with that. Your group won't get any M&M's or Hershey bars. All right, so are you guys cool with the fact that we have Hershey bars and M&M's? Those, are those our variables? Why are those our variables? Oh, they could change, right? We don't know. We Now, actually, we do know, but pretend like we didn't do the table. Please pardon this interruption. We have eight teachers that still have not taken attendance. Please do so at this time or our call will be late for the central office safety call. Thank you. Safety. You're all safe, I called. Safety call. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's what we call their parents. Attendance. Yeah, so we did it, we're good. Okay, so pretend like we didn't know the chart, pretend like we didn't know the answers. These variables could help us figure out the answers, right? What do you guys want to use to represent Hershey bars? A. H. H. H sounds pretty com like common sense, right? Uh -huh. Because that's what it starts with. So let's just use an H. What about M&M's? E. M. 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 Why would we use C? Because Colin. Because Colin. Kimmy. M. 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 And Bridge, why should we just use M? <laughs> because it's easy. Because that's what M&M's start with. That's what we're talking about, right? OK, so what I want you to do in your group is now that we've defined a variable, we're going to do number six together, which is to write a system of equations. The first equation that I want you to write in your group is an equation that would show uh, the total amount I bought. Not the total purchase price, but the total amount of items. Okay? Go. So, in your group, I don't know, let's see, 16 equals 2x, oh, okay, we change them, because they can't be the same, well, well, that's a very good point, that you have x, 2x and 3x, why wouldn't that work, not yet, but why wouldn't 2x and 3x work? Because they're the same variable. They're the same variable, but are we talking about? And that's just how many. I want to go back to about what Tyra said. Tyra said, we, if, can I see your pencil? Is that you had x and x. x and x would tell you that are the, same. the same thing. So that would mean that Hershey bars cost $2 and Hershey bars cost three dollars, but is that really true? No. So what variable should you use? Do you see why they need to be different? No, because we no, that that's the answer. We're not ready for the answer yet. We're writing the equation to get the answer. Well, I don't know. You guys talk about it. But this is. But sixteen was my what? Total cost. Right. But what I'm wanting is the total amount of items. So would it be? I don't know. Talk about it together. You're on the right track. So uh, talk to them. You guys are way too smart. How'd you get this though? Oh, because Hershey's plus the amount of Hershey's plus the amount of M&M's equals six. Good. Alright, so, because it's good so far, let me tell you, I asked for which. Total amount of items. Does this give me the total amount of items? 
why not? Wait, don't erase it. But why doesn't it give me the total amount of items? Because it gives you the price. It doesn't give you the amount of items. So it has to be six equals H. I don't know. You guys talk about it. Talk about it. See what I she said. All right, doing. so here we have Y, and what does Y stand for? The total amount. The total amount of items, and don't we know that though? It's six. It's six. All right. So, so why should we write Y if we know how many I bought? <laughs> That's okay. I think you should change it though. All right. Now tell me why you have four and two. Because it's four packs of two All right, so let's look at Cosmo's equation because he replaced it with six. What does that M represent, that variable M? One M and M? So then why don't you just... No, it means you can plug in any number. It, pl it means that you can plug in any number to represent the number of bags of M and M's, but I already know that. This is confusing. Yeah, it is. It, it is hard. This isn't a very thoroughly questioning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, just it is? It isn't? It's just like name this. No context. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Just, just be this. So we're going to change them. All right, Logan. Logan. Yes, ma'am. Logan, yeah. do me a favor. Go to the board and uh, where six is, where I wrote the total amount of items. Will you write the equation that you guys came up with? Sorry, Michelle. Um, no, if you just write it off to the side, it would be great. Because we have a lot of different equations here. Raise your hand, guys, if your group's got that same equation for the total amount of items. Okay, Kane, you were talking earlier about it, and you just made it sound so simple. Why is why is that a simple? E I mean, that sounds just like a simple equation, right? Why is that the equation that represents the total amount of items? Because we're just adding up the Hershey's and the M&Ms to get the total amount of them we have. Okay, and. We already know the answer. We already know, right, that I bought how many Hershey bars? Two. And we already know that I bought what? Four. And two plus four is six, right? You guys did the what? And you guys originally did the what? The equation for the total cost. So now everybody else, the second equation is going to be what? Cost. Note the equation for total cost. So go ahead and do that. All right. Well, good for you. Did you write this one down, then? Yeah, we did. How do you come up with them that quick? Okay. Well, let's see. We already have it. So, well, tell me why you have y. Tell me why you have y there. Y equals. Yeah, but we know it's already 16. Oh, yeah. Did you guys hear that? Well, what does that mean? Why, why wouldn't you write y? Because we already know what the total amount is going to be. We already have. So does it see? Does it make sense to replace the y with 16 since you already know what it is? Yes. Okay. Oh, it's the amount. Perfect. Two H. Um, okay, so tell me why you put two and four. Because you have two Hershey's bars, so we put two Hershey's bars plus four and then equals 16, which is our total cost. All right, guys, I'm going to let this group come up again. I'm going to let this group again come up, so somebody besides Logan who hasn't gone, go up. And write your equation that you wrote. Good. Wait, uh, I guess I'm not. Oh, so you don't know? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So what I want you to do is I want you to write that one under there, but you guys have two different equations. Oh, you changed them. I don't know. 
right, Zach. So if we look at um, Logan's group again, they uh, delivered the second equation, which was 2H plus 4M is equal to 16. Okay. Is that right? I guess. Oh, wait. Yeah. Well, Colin, you said Y4, Y4M. What? Y4M. Yeah, Y is 4M right? No. I'm hearing no, Ashlyn. Yeah. How much the M&M is? No. But you need how many there are? But we, right. But that would help us find it. But that's what the um, variables are for, right? Yeah. That's what the variables are for. So, Ashley, why don't you go up and replace? So, Bridget, I want you to see what we're replacing the two and the four with, and see if you can figure out why we replaced it with what we what we're going to write or what Ashley's going to write. Good. How many of you guys got this? We got that first. All right, Logan, what were you going to ask? Um, if you don't know how many MMs are in the you have, you don't know that you're going to get $16. But no, I told you that I spent $16. Yeah, Logan, what were you going to ask? Um, what were you going to ask? Well, we were doing it from the view of we didn't know we were trying to figure it out. But actually, sorry, Austin, what you wrote was this, 4M and 2H. 2H. 2H is equal to 16. So this 16 represents the what? Cost. The total cost. So by saying, this is actually saying four times the number of M&Ms &Ms that we bought. Good, Corey. So we don't know how many we bought. We do because we did the table, right? But this needs to represent how much it costs per bag of M&Ms. So this is saying that we rep that we bought, uh, excuse me, that it was four dollars per bag of M and M's and two dollars per bag of Hershey Kisses. I, I mean, uh, whatever that is, Hershey bars. And I think I confused you guys by doing the answer first, but I want you to see how the answer connects to what we're getting ready to do. All right. So is everybody cool with the equations minus the blue one? Yeah. Okay. So now, do we have a system of equation? Uh, has systems of equation. Yeah. yeah, our variables are a little different than typical, which are y equals mx plus b, and I think a lot of you guys wanted to write y first. Could you still use um, these to graph if you needed to? Sure, you could do cost and, yeah, okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use the algebraic method, so that means we're going to do some what? Math. Equations. No, we're not going to graph Connor. I think you're going to like this better than graphing, but if you choose to graph things, that you're, you're more than welcome to graph. Okay, so what we want to do is we have two equations. One that says one bag of Hershey Kisses or a number of bag of Hershey Kisses and a number of, keep saying Hershey Kisses, a number of Hershey bars, a number of M&Ms equals six items. If I wanted to, and I know this is difficult because you guys have a, this is a hard thing for you to, to grasp, and we haven't grasped it yet. If I want you to take this first equation and write it in terms of the M&Ms, could you do that? Yeah. I want you to take the red equation and rewrite it in terms of M&Ms. So I'm seeing a lot of blank stares. So I want to help you out. In terms of M&Ms would mean that we need to oh, cancel. Well, let me no, let me rewrite. Let me restate my question. This is in terms of what? Oh, the number of items, items because it equals 6. If I wanted you to rewrite it in terms of M&Ms, yeah. what would the beginning of the equation or the what would the equal part need to look like? M equals, M equals. Okay, so I want you to rewrite this in terms of M&M. So that means M equals what? The number of M&Ms equals what? Yep, I want you to write it. There's fine. You can write it really anywhere. Okay, you guys look stuck. 
Why? You so sleepy. I just don't want to be here. I'm sorry. No, it's class. It's school. Okay. Well, I really can use your help because you are super duper smart, and I know you can do this. Okay. And I promise you that you will be able to take home one of these lovely constellation prizes. Okay. So help me out. We need to rewrite it in terms of m. So I want to know how if we're using h plus m equals 6, right? So we know that I bought six items. How could I use, write an equation? 6 so, minus h. OK, but why? You made it sound so easy. Because like, if you subtract the Hershey's, it will give me the amount of m and m's. If we knew the amount of Hershey's, yeah. it would give you m's. Do you mind saying that when we come back to the, to the group? OK, good. Okay. We have the n equals four times three, and we have the n equals sixteen minus sure, my um, three m. Sure, I'm not yeah, I'm So we're using the first equation only. So not. So we're not worried about the total cost. We're only worried about the amount of items. And tell me where you got the three from, because that because that's how much it cost. So what this would say. Four bags of three dollars. Okay, guess I want you to stop forgetting about the answer. Okay, that four and two, I want you to scratch that out of your mind and you never use it. Right, but I don't want you to write the two. We're doing, yeah, we're not doing cost, we're doing the first equation. So I'm going to grab your pencil. We're thinking about this equation and I want you to write M equals. Okay. There you go. Why would it be six minus h? Six items minus m minus h. Exactly. That's it. Pretty easy, huh? All right, you ready? I have. I have. So I'll be before how much it will be before today. No, not yet. All you're redoing is you're rewriting this equation in terms of m. So, what, what does that mean? So what does that mean? Well, that what I'm okay, that's close. All right, so this is what Corey has. He has M equals H plus 6. Would that make sense? Shut up, Tyra. Uh-uh. That is not nice. Be quiet, I apologize. Tyra. Be quiet. But Corey has, he's on the right track. And what I need you guys to do is I need you to look at what he's written and let's figure out together why it's not right. Because what this would say is that the number of M&Ms is the same, well, is the same thing plus the number of Hershey bars we bought plus six items. Is that right? Mm. Would that help us figure out how many? I know what it is. I know. Do it. Let me see it. Okay. Nope, we're not looking at the answer. We're not looking at the answer. We're just strictly looking at that equation. <laughs> Well, that's because you know it's two. But it okay. So let's go. So because you know the answer, let's let's go back to the answer. How many bags of M and M's did we buy? Four. Four. So if I wrote this equation, does that make sense? What's two plus six? Eight. Eight. Does eight equal four? No. So it'll be six plus four. Because we're writing it with variables. So we need to keep our Hershey's, but there's something that's wrong here. Something that's wrong. Ashlyn, you guys ready? Yeah. Um, Kaylee, do you mind going up and doing that one for me? <laughs> Even though I came up with it. Good. Hold on a second, Kaylee. Kaylee, hold up. Okay, so we have three groups that are totally on the right track. We have some that aren't. So, Kaylee, I want you to go ahead and explain the equation you guys came up with. Um, if you have six items and then you subtract. Subtract the Hershey bars, I'll give you the amount of blood bags. Right, pretending like we don't know. So, Zach, I don't mean to pick on your group, but this is what, can I, can I pick on your group for a second? You had M equals what? I forgot. 16, 16 minus H. 16 minus H. H. I didn't get it. Okay, so this would be what, Ashlyn? So this is the cost, but we were looking for the um, um, amount of bags. So what would we need to replace that 16 with? Six. Six. So we have, so guys, really like money. So guys, ru running simultaneously, we have two different equations, right? Really we have two like different money. things that I'm talking about. I'm talking about the cost and I'm talking about the amount. amount of items, right? And if you guys can wake up, I promise that when we do the next part, 
What well, you guys can we can we can eat candy at the same time. Oh, I promise. Oh, but I need you to wake up. I know we're tired. I know it's Friday, but oh, we oh. need to put a little brain power in this. I'm woken. I know you are. You ate your Wheaties this morning or raisin bran. Okay. My Captain Crunch. So now that we know that M is equal to six items minus however many Hershey bars we bought, right? We know that this equation is three. Yep, so each bag of M&M's cost $3 plus two bags, or I'm sorry, $2 for each Hershey bar equals $16. Do I know, and I know this is going to be a stretch, or do we know what M is equal to here? Yes. Oh, what is it equal? Well, I know we know it's four. Forget the answer. Ashlyn. Minus H. Why? Because that's you subtract from what Hershey the bars are. Exactly. So if I substitute, don't freak. Everybody, don't anybody freak out on me. I know this is difficult. But if I take and replace M with this expression, the number of items minus the Hershey bars that we bought, and what operation is this? Multiplication. Yep, if I replace it with this, that would be wrong. No. Why do we have to get so deep in here? Okay, well, I'm not finished. Let's just talk about really quickly what this means, and then I'll let you do the math, because I know that's what you want to do, and some of you are already doing it. We already know what that is. Right? This means $3. Are you ready? Uh -huh. For each bag of M&M's. But the bag of M&M's is based off the total six items minus how many Hershey bars I bought. Does that kind of make sense? No. Okay. What I, I'm going to come around and talk to you, and I want you guys to see if you can figure out how many Hershey bars I bought based on this equation. Okay? Ready? Go. Okay. So, if I rewrite this, three... All right, so if I have 3m plus 2h is equal to 16, do you understand this equation? Not really. Okay. Well, I know that that's m&ms, 3m&ms, and 2 Hershey bars. Actually, it's not 3m&ms. It's okay. what? The amount. Well, I don't know. Uh, the pack? Yeah, because how much did this Hershey bar cost? $2. $2. Oh, and, yeah, and so it's saying that I'm going to grab this real fast just so you can see. Do you have your M&M bag over there? Yeah, Zach's okay. hogging it. So, if I, can I see it again? We already know that this is the answer, right? We already know that it's four M&Ms, mm -hmm. two Hershey's, okay? So, I'm gonna give you your paper and move the tape. We already know that it's two M&Ms, three Hershey's, or excuse me, backwards, two Hershey's, four M&Ms. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? How much does each two. bag of M&M's cost? $3. $3. Isn't that the same as multiplication? Yeah. So how much did I spend only on the M&M's? $12. <laughs> because <laughs> 4 times 3 is 12, right? How many Hershey two. bars did I end up buying? Two. Which total would be? Four. Four. So all this is saying, it's, it's saying that I don't know the number of M&M's or Hershey bars I, I bought I yet, I but I do I know that each bag was okay. three and like each two. bag was two, right? And it added up to what? Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Now when we rewrote this, we're saying that I bought six items total. Okay. I do know that I bought six items total. And this is saying I don't know how many M&Ms or how many Hershey b bars I bought. Oh, I see what you did. Right. But I rewrote it because technically, isn't it six items minus the two Hershey bars gives me these four? Mm -hmm. Does that make more sense? Yeah. Okay, so then what I would do is if I want to find the price, I would replace this variable M for M&Ms with this expression because I know that the total six items minus my two Hershey bars is going to give me the price of the M or how many M's I bought. So I'm going to do this. 
Does that make more sense? Okay. Well, now you're going to figure out you're going to solve for H. I got and it. What would that tell you? How much you church bar call? Not how, uh, no, how, many, how many there are. How many there are. All right. Uh, so I'm going to give you a broken one back. We, we and I, like Connor, I want to see if you can can you get started on that. Wait, why can't we have? Why do we have Not yet. One? Why do we have to have a broken one? Well, when we eat them, you can have the regular one. Okay. Um. So, Connor, when you're finished or when you get uh, stuck, I want you to talk to one of these guys about. I don't know who's in there though. All right. So what did we get? Saying? All right, so do you guys understand why we substituted that in? Yeah, because that's the other opposite of the Okay, do you understand this equation, 3m plus 2h, or 2h? Yep. Do you understand what it means when we substitute it in? All right, what, so you don't? I mean, I don't really Okay. All right, so it's okay. You're, you all said you did. If I would have asked you, you wouldn't have been able to explain it either, would you? Huh? All right, so watch. I'm going to model this first equation, which we said the number of M&Ms is six items minus Hershey bars, right? Is this six items? Because we already know the answer. We already know that I bought four. And then you're substituting that part into your equation so you can figure out the M. Right, but what we... So exactly. So, we, this is six items. If I take away my two Hershey bars, doesn't that give me the number of M&Ms? Does that make sense? So, that is why the number of M&Ms is equal to six minus two, or minus the Hershey bars. So, once we know that, we do know that each bag of M&Ms costs how much? Three dollars. We're pretending like we don't know that how many M&Ms I bought, which was four. And then you're going to take the amount of M&Ms that we know we're going to have, because we know it's going to be subtracting the amount of Hershey bars, and we're going to plug that in where it says M. Okay? I'm going to leave you this and this, and I want you guys to talk about that for a minute, and then we're going to go over it together. Alright, so explain to me what I you guys did. I mean, I got it. I don't really I know what you're talking about. You didn't even need help? No. Alright, so do, uh, let's go back to this original equation, M minus 6H. Because you had a really hard time coming up with that. It's not M minus 6H. It's, yeah, it is. It's, 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 or, I'm sorry, M equals 6 minus H. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why no. does that, does that make sense? Yes. yes. Why? Because you take the total item, you get rid of all the Hershey's. And, and now we have and now we have two to plug into H and six minus two. Oh! I don't. Do they know what you just said there? I I understand it all. I'm right on the board. I get it. I get. I'm gonna look at them. I really don't get it. I said now you have two. You can plug in the two. Hey guys, give me one more second. Now that you know, so if everybody over here is already finished and solve for H. If everybody has solved for H, I would like you to begin to figure out, we already know what the other number is gonna be, right? But can you show me, can you model it by substituting it in for our other equation? Okay? And then, if you can do that, if you figured it out, I would like for you to move on to part three with number seven. I want you guys to stay right where you are. You see how I've highlighted 17, 27, and 6? I would like for you to replace them with the following numbers. Are you ready? Are you sure? I would like for you, yeah, I gave it to you. In your problem, it says 19. I'd like for you to replace it with 17. I was done and everything with it. Okay. No, I'm not kidding. I want you to try it again. And then I want you to replace the 26 with 27 because I never told you to move on. You're not following directions. I am so sorry. Okay. Got it wrong. Let's get back to this really fast. Okay, go ahead and replace the numbers. Let me go see your pencil. I'll replace them for you. So this is now 27. Oh, I know this question anyway. Because I was wondering if I was going to get this. I found it. And that's 17. And then this is 6. Okay? All right. So let's take what we have here. And let's look at our first equation. I wanted to write this. This M equals H minus 6. 
to figure out how many M&Ms we have. We already know that we have four, right? We have four bags of M&Ms and we have two Hershey bars. Is that six items? Right? Okay, so it's total six items. How can I find the number of Hershey bars I have? I mean, not, not Hershey bars, M&Ms. Well, I could, but how does that fit into our um, equation that we wrote? Okay, so you're, so you're going back to the beginning, which is... Hershey's plus M&M's equals six. And we know that it's two Hershey's plus four M&M's equals six. We already know that, right? Because we already know the answer. But we're pretending like we don't know the answer. How does this equation make sense? How can we model that? I don't know. The number of M&M's is equal to, equals, we got to switch that around technically. Four equals something. The number of items minus the number of Hershey's is how many Oh well, yeah, can you show me that? Like, what would I do? I would take these two away, which is subtracting the number of Hershey bars, and it leaves me with how many bags of M&Ms? Four. Four. But we already know the answer, right? I was just trying to explain to you why that equation works. Okay? So this is this equation. Now I have my second equation, which is the total cost. Alex, don't give up. It's gonna, I'm telling you, it's gonna make more sense. I think it's more difficult because you know the answer in advance, right? All right, so we know that I spent $16. We know that each each Hershey bar cost how much? $2. So it's $2 per Hershey bar. Add it to how much does each bag of M&M's cost? $3 per bag of M&M's. Now, we're going to pretend, sorry, that was a crazy looking M, that we don't know how many bags of Hershey's and how many M&M's. Y'all play pretend all this at time. No, I don't. Yes, you do. We're going to pretend like we don't. So erase the four and two out of your mind. But I wanted to show you where the four and two come from. All right, so what did we say? We know that M is the number of items, the number of six items minus the two Hershey bars, right? So why can't I just say that here? By saying that, all I would do is just replace the M with what? That equation. Six. Six minus H. H. Six uh, minus. Yeah, why? Because it's just gonna add on. To, no, it's gonna. You're gonna like once you get that answer, you're gonna multiply it by that. Exactly. So let's go ahead and do it. So tell I me what. That, but it doesn't make any sense. All right. Well, no. Let's hold on. Let's do it together as a group. That's All right. So let's do it together. Hold on. Okay, close. All right, so what would I do first? Uh, subtract. Can you subtract those two? No, you multiply those. So, <laughs> three, three, seven, eight, eight, eighteen. So we get eighteen uh, minus times one. I mean, three. Minus three h because we would distribute and we get three h. And then what would I do? Uh, subtract three. Uh, so two h minus three h is what? Negative H, which doesn't really make any sense, right? Because you can't have a negative Hershey so bar. Hold on a second. Then what would I do? Hold on. We're not finished, are we? You would subtract that. So you're saying subtract 18? So subtract 18 from there, and 18 minus 18 is zero. Subtract 18, and then it'll be negative two equals negative h, but you can't really have that, right? So really so negative, it. and it would be oh, what? Yeah. Negative two equals h. The number of Hershey bars is? Two. two. So now, we, are, we already knew that, but now that we know that the number of Hershey bars is two, could we plug it back into this equation? Yeah. Or to this equation? Yeah. So where would I put the two? Where the H is. Very good, because the two represents the number of Hershey bars. And then you would get what? Four. Four. Very good. All right. So Why does that happen? Okay, so now you do not know the number of Hershey bars. I mean, now, now, now here for number seven, you don't know the answers on number seven. Okay, I want you guys to work it out and see okay. if you can figure out the answer. Okay, but I would like to leave some candy for you while I'm here. Uh -huh. You're so nice. Which one would you like? I would like a Hershey. No, I don't. I would, I would not like one. Yeah, each of you get one. Which one would you like? Yes, which one would you like? <laughs> which one would you like? Corey, share your M&Ms with me. 
Okay. We and all get I have it. more. What would you like? M&M's or Hershey? M&M's? What do you want? All right. So now that you're, I want you to work and eat at the same time. Okay. How are we? Well, I did change it up on you guys. Change my game plan. All right. So what is your game plan here? Now we're gonna have to start over. All right. So start over. Would a little chocolate help you get started? Yes. Would you like M&M's or a Hershey bar? I would love M&M's. I have more, so. I don't care. Wow, I don't know. Yeah, trying, trying this question. Uh, yeah, I would like to see your equation afterwards, but I want you to get started on the after I, I change to. the name. All right, ladies, you all stuck? Oh, you're finished with all of them? Okay. So on McDonald on a farm. Guys, you're gonna eat cane. You're gonna eat while you work on that last on seven and eight. Okay, go. All right, yeah, so you're a good singer. Old McDonald had a farm. He has some chickens and some ducks. Every day, McDonald uh, collects 17 eggs, and he knows that each duck lays two eggs while each chicken lays three eggs. So what is our first, like, our first equation that we're talking about? We're talking about one thing specifically, which is? You're trying to figure out how many ducks there are. Well, that's the end goal, right? 17 equals? 17 what? Eggs. Eggs All right, so you guys skip down to the second bullet. I'm talking about the first bullet. Like, what two variables do we have? What what two things are we dealing with? The ducks and the chickens. The ducks and the chickens, yeah? So what could our variables be that we use to represent that? D and C. So write D and C. And then what does D equal? The ducks. And C equals chickens. Does that make sense? Because we don't, because those are the, bless you, because that's what we don't know, right? So now we can begin to write our equations. But also what I was going back to earlier was the first sentence is talk about the number of eggs that the chicken and the ducks lay, right? What's the second sentence talk about? How much pounds they eat. So they're eating. So we have two different. So guys, like, we have two different things going on. So we have the number of eggs they lay and the number of uh, how much pounds they eat in food, right? Or how many pounds? So do you see that those are two separate things, but they're going to help us figure out the answer, right? So what it, what would our first equation be to represent the first thing? I'm coming. Seventeen equals D plus C. So 17 equals D plus C. So that would... D2 one, plus C3. Hold a second. So tell me why her equation doesn't work. Okay, oh, doesn't tell you that. We don't care how much ducks and chickens there are. Yeah, but did you hear what Goldie said? Goldie said she doesn't... We don't... That your equation would tell us what? How much ducks and chickens there are. How many ducks and chickens we have. We're trying to figure out how many eggs they lay. Right? Okay. So I'm going to leave you guys to that, but I'd also like to leave you some candy. Would you like some a Hershey bar? Would you like a Hershey bar? Yep, M&M's. M&M's. All right, I'm going to come back and check on you guys in a minute. You. You're welcome. Sorry, I get the wrong person. All right, you're done? You're done with the second? You're done with number seven? That's where you're supposed to be. Uh, yep. Don't Apparently I didn't find enough M&M's because everybody wanted M&M's. I'm going to come over there in a second. Y'all are working on seven, right? I like chocolate. No, I'm kidding. Okay. Let's look at number seven. I have M&M's for you if you can help me out. Ducks and chickens is the first. Okay. How do you know ducks and chickens are the variables? Because those are the those are the products. They can change. And that's what we don't know, right? Uh-huh. So write D. D for D and C. D and C for duck. Okay. Connor, why is that our variable? Because those are our our things that are producing. Nice. Making, All right. So what's our? So I'm gonna give you a second to read the problem, and then I want to come back and see if you guys can figure out the equations. All right. Let's just okay. Equation. I'm coming. Twenty-seven mm -hmm. equals. Ooh, fancy. Because we have to do multiple equations. I like how you wrote a, a table. Okay. So explain this one to me. I don't get that. That's the total number. Of so so yeah, I got that. I wrote it. Okay. Yeah. That part. So we got the total number of eggs. 
captured. D is the number of ducks. So how many ducks you have? And every duck has two eggs. Every duck lays how many eggs? Two, two eggs. C is chicken. Yeah. Every chicken has three eggs. <laughs> but does it have three eggs? It does what? Each time it goes, and how many come out? Three. One. One. Three. Oh. Three. It's like a machine. Right? It's like a machine, yeah. It's like that thing I showed you about the functions, right? Oh my gosh. That's awesome. All right. So does that first equation make sense to you? Yeah. Okay. So now we have our second equation. All right. Focus. We have our second equation. Explain this one to me, because you have twenty-seven equals. Oh, I did. Equals three pounds. Every duck eats three pounds, and chicken eats six pounds. That's actually one of the hardest. Six pounds. You're going on that. But that's that's a good that maybe it maybe it's organic. Organic does not excuse fat chicken. <laughs> All right. So they will break their legs. <laughs> that is a very good point, Kaza. So Ashlyn, do, do these two equations make sense now? Yeah. Okay. All right. So now I know that you made a chart, but let's not use a table. Let's use it. Try to figure out using it. Algebra, or algebraically try to figure it out. I is an algebra. <laughs> well, also, we've done a lot of algebra this year. Okay, so we don't really know here how we rewrote the equation in terms of the number of M&Ms. Could we rewrite the equation in terms of ducks or in terms of yes. chickens? Yes. Which yeah. one would you like to use? Ducks, because ducks have the smaller number in both cases. And they're not as fat. Yeah. All right, so let's do that. So in which, equa in which equation do you want to use? So as a group, you all need to work together. Which equation? Do you want to use the 17 or do you want to use? Does it matter? It doesn't, but, but look at the numbers that you have. I'm going to give you a hint and tell you to use the 27, but I, you're right, it doesn't matter. All right, well, y'all need to figure it out. Can I leave these for you guys? Mm. Yep. Yep. Does anybody want one of these? Yeah. I want a Hershey. You want a Hershey? We only have one left, so we have one M&M. He already has that in his mouth. All right, good. We can eat I can have <laughs> I do have <laughs> I agree. We've got to get this problem started. You ready? Uh, All right. Chickens and ducks, right? So, Tyra says the first bullet is chickens and ducks. Why are, why are chickens and ducks our variables? Because they're the two. They're the two main subjects, I guess. They are their two main subjects, but do we know how many we have? No. No, we have no idea. So that's why that's our variable. All right? Are you guys on the number eight, or have you already got number seven? Um, I think we're about to finish number seven, right? Good. I want you to finish number seven before we have, like, three more minutes. I want you to have finish number seven. Okay, so chicken and ducks are our variables, and now let's read. So, oh, McDonald had a farm. I knew he was going to go there. All right, so every McDonald, every day, Mr. McDonald goes into his farm, you ready? And he sees that he has how many eggs? 17. He has 17 eggs. Do you guys agree? Okay, so he goes in, and his duck lays how many eggs? Two. Two eggs. So each chicken. Each each chicken lays three eggs and each duck lays two eggs. Can you write an equation that's, that sh that tells me that? Three doesn't go three. Oh, I know. We're not there yet. Hold on. How many ducks are there? So write the equation. <laughs> Corey's, gonna, Corey's got it first. Or Amani may, may, may beat him to it. Yep. Yep. Get it, Corey. Get it. Okay, so Corey, tell them your equation. 17 equals B2 plus C3. Could you write, Corey, could you write the three first before the C? No. You could? Yeah. Right, I think, I think I mean, you should. I think you should, so rewrite them. Alex, does that make sense? Does that equation make sense? Yes. Okay. We, there's 17 total. There's 17 total what? Eggs. Eggs, right? Chicken. All right, so that's our first scenario. At the same time on the farm, he goes in and he's ready to feed his chicken and his eggs because the, the, the more he feeds them, the happier they are.
and the more eggs they produce, right? Yeah. Good. All right, so Reed, talk to me about the how much he feeds them. For every duck, he feeds 26, three pounds. 27 Back. pounds. Well, and for every chicken, he feeds six pounds. Okay. So what is the total amount that he, he goes in with a how big of a bag? 27, 27 pounds. 27 pounds. So he goes in with his 27 pound bag. How much is he going to give his duck? Uh, for duck, he's going to give three. Three pounds. So how would you say that? So three pounds per duck. Very good. And then he's going to give us chicken. How much? Six. So she gets six pounds and you only get well, three well, I pounds. Be the duck, I like chicken. Uh, nah, that's well. All right. So look at this. So now we have these two different equations. Yes. And that's exactly what... Why is it six? Because it's six pounds. Oh, you didn't change your thing around. Oh, yeah. You're supposed to change it to six. Okay. Okay. So, could we do what we did up top? Do it here? Mm, yeah. Could we take one of these equations and write it in terms of chickens or ducks? Mm -hmm. Which one would you rather use, chickens or ducks? Chicken, because I love chicken. You love chicken? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I went to a farm before. And? I used to pick them up so in the air so they could fly. Oh, that's and not then nice. I told one of the chickens that one day I'm going to eat it. That's not nice. What about, the, but look at your numbers you have. So you're going to have to rewrite it so that you're looking at the number of ducks you have. So look at six. Does six go into any of It's going to give you some nasty numbers. So yeah, I'm nasty. Gonna, yeah, yeah, so I'm going to give you a hint and I'm going to ask you to write it in terms of ducks. Okay? Can you use this equation and write it in terms of ducks? And then I'm going to come back. Okay? okay. Ready? A duck A duck chase me. Of course, it's time to work. Okay, so... Negative 17. Kaylee erased her. She's just stupid. All right. No, 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 wait a second. So your first equation was this, right? Mm -hmm. And you said that each chicken is... Oh, but what happened to your two and your three? We didn't use that above all. All right, so these... So let's... Uh, we don't need this tape. Because... All right, so let's look at Anna's... You have the same thing. Good. All right, and then let's use this equation. 27 equals 3D that's plus 6C. That's the amount of food. That's the amount of food, right? It doesn't matter which equation you use. It really doesn't. Okay, let's pick this equation. And I want to solve it in terms of D the, to find out the number of ducks. So how could I rewrite this so that I know what D equals? What would I do first? Let's look at this equation. 6C. Uh huh. Um, 60 minus 3D. Can you subtract those? You can't no. subtract sub ch chicken and duck. So, what should I subtract? Subtract it from the other side? Sure. Because we're, tr well, we're trying to find out, we're trying to get D by itself. We're trying to find out in terms of ducks. Yes, please. Am I almost there? Okay. Then what would I do? Divide by three. And then I'm going to divide both sides by three. So 27 divided by three is nine. Oops, that's not an equals. And then six divided by three is, and you end up with this. Does that make any sense to me? Oh, so, yeah, so D, that should be what our D is in our thing. Yeah, so now you're going to take this for D and you're going to put it where? In our equation. Into which equation? This junker. That junker, yep, do it. All right. All right, my chicken and my duck group. Are you finished? <laughs> <laughs> and you're, oh, you're 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 the same thing. I don't understand what they did with Shen. But you, are you backing it up with information yes. from the problem? Yes. Yes. Well, we both are. Uh-oh, you both have different... I, um, I don't understand what they did. Okay. I understand. Well, that's good, but that's not well, nice. I would try to explain it. <laughs> All right, so Ashley, this could be good. You may want to pay well, attention. You tried to explain so it last time. Bad. All right, go. You take chicken. You get chicken by... You start with 27 here, right? That's how much everything needs to get. And you go to the bottom. 
all the duck seed. Every duck eats chicken. So, don't worry about it. Oh. It just leaves all the food chicken. So, I get that by our and every chicken. I don't know. That's how many pounds. Chicken. But, how does it? Go ahead. Every chicken eats six pounds. So, if you take all the leftover food and you divide by six, that will be how many chickens are left. So he's telling you in a story. Could you do it yeah. algebra? He, he told a very good story. Could you do it's it algebraically? It is the best story. So what he found out was how much, inter he found out, because uh, we we're talking about the 27 is about how much they eat. All right, now I want you, Cosmo, since you guys have got that, you guys finish on while I'd start to Ashlyn. Okay, so you've got that, right? And we want to make it in terms of we want to know what each duck. I get the, the beginning. Okay. I get the divide six. All right, so let's talk about it. So what would I do? I'm gonna rewrite it over here. Actually, can I rewrite it like this? You okay with that? Um, what are the two disagreements here? Because if you could go write your two disagreements on the board, that would be fantastic. So we could talk about it and then finish up. All right. What would I do? You would be. How could I find in, tom in terms of D? In terms of D? Yep, what would I do? 3D equals... If I want to write it in terms of D, like we oh, wrote just, it in. Just D, e yeah, D equals 27 minus 6. Yep, so 3, well, 3D yeah. equals 27 minus 6, right? Yeah. And then what? Because we don't we don't have one D we only we now we have three. Oh, you did, I get it. Now. You would have to subtract divide because when you don't write it exactly. And so twenty seven divided by three is and then six divided by is two. So now do we know in like in terms of D how much the duck eats? Yeah. Okay. So now what would you do? Now that you know this, what the duck eats, could you... Go, but I think you need to fix Cosmo's equation. Cosmo. Cosmo. Oh, no. No, it is not. Yes, it is. Because I'm wrong. Okay, we have literally one second to do this. So I, I need you to stop packing up for just a second and look up here. Two variables. What? Two variables are D and C because we're talking about the ducks and chickens. Everybody was really good at coming up with the equation to model the number they lay, which is what? 17 equals what? Look at your papers. I came around. Y'all are packing up an action. No, 17. 2D plus 3D. All right, so 3C plus 2D. And that's giving us the number of eggs they lay, right? Yes. Now we need the whole other situation, which is the amount of feed there is, which is? 3C plus 2D equals 27. Plus 2D equals 27. Do you guys agree? Sure? Are you sure? So I'm going to take your food back. Well, is that right? No, no. All right. I want to write put their food down and leave it, or I'm going to take it. Oh, Yep, I'm going to take it. Why isn't this right? Because that's the, um, that's for how many eggs they lay. So, Logan, do you see that's how many eggs they lay? How many pounds does each chicken eat? Oh. Okay, so do we have two simultaneous equations? Do we have two different things going on at the same time? Yes. Yes. We're not going to have time to solve here, so we're going to pick back up in our next lesson with that. But is everybody okay with the writing of the equations from the... From